Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2023. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to export animated GIFs using Adobe Media Encoder. I will also show you how to set up your own custom preset in Adobe Media Encoder to make it easy whenever you want to export animated GIFs. So here I am in After Effects where I have created this very simple logo animation and I want to export it as an animated GIF. All I did was take the logo layer, I converted it to a 3D object, and then I just animated the Y rotation. So I dragged the playhead to the beginning, I added a keyframe by clicking on the stopwatch for Y rotation, I dragged the playhead to the end, and then for the rotation, I just entered one so it would spin in 360 degrees. And this animation is transparent, so if I toggle on the transparency grid, you can see that it's just a transparent background. And to export this animation as an animated GIF, I'm just going to go up to the top menu in After Effects, go to File, Export, then select Add to Adobe Media Encoder Q. Once you click this, Adobe Media Encoder application will automatically open up on your computer. Your After Effects composition will be listed in the queue of Adobe Media Encoder. And now you just need to tell Adobe Media Encoder what encoding settings you want to use for the final output. You can manually set up the encoding settings right here in the queue. So I can just click on this drop down for format and select the format that I want to use from this list. So in this case, I choose animated GIF. Then come to the preset, click on the drop down and select the preset that you want to use. So in this case, I would use the animated GIF with transparency. And now we're ready to export this. But an even easier way, rather than having to go through all these and figure out which settings to use, just come down to the preset browser. I'll do a search for GIF. There's only two options. So I'm going to select this one here with transparency. I'll select it and just drag it right onto the row. And now it's ready to export as an animated GIF. And to create your own custom encoding preset, just select the preset that you want to start with. Just right click or control click. You can choose create alias if you don't want to make any changes or rename the preset. Otherwise, click on create encoding preset. Give your preset a name. I'll call this Mike's GIFs. For the format, you want to keep it at animated GIF. Based on preset, I'll select the animated GIF with transparency. You can leave any notes or comments if you want to remind yourself about what this preset's all about. You can make any changes or customizations you want to the original preset. Otherwise, just click on OK, and now it'll be located under your user presets and group folder. And anytime you want to use your custom encoding preset, just select it down in the preset browser under the user presets and group, and just drag it right onto the output. It'll update the settings, and if you click on this little drop down here, there you will also see your custom preset. Once you have the encoding settings all ready, just click on this little link under output file to tell Adobe Media Encoder where you want to save the file to. I'm going to save it to my desktop. I'll give it a name and click save. Click on the green play icon in the top right corner to start encoding. You'll see a little status bar. When it's done, you'll see a green check mark. There's the file on my desktop. I'm going to drag it onto a browser to test it out. Perfect. And that is how to export animated GIFs from Adobe After Effects using Adobe Media Encoder CC 2023. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.